All right, you guys, it's Saturday. I have to work, but after I'm done opening up this house, <laughs> I'm going to be going book shopping and prepping for the Spooky Smart Bitch Readathon. I'm so excited. everyone okay I am back from my bookstore run um, to the bookseller which I had no idea existed and is now my new favorite place and also to the library because it's really hard for me to get to the library when I'm working as much as I am I think that I'm working 12 days straight before I get a break but anyway regardless let me show you what I picked up from the bookstore and basically I just got a whole bunch of like creepy books I didn't really think about the themes when I was picking them up so first I got Carrie by Stephen King um I think it would be cool to start at the beginning now that I know that I'm a huge Stephen King fan um then Mike the bookseller recommended The Fireman he said it was his favorite book of all time or one of his favorites and um, it sounds like it's about a pandemic and sounds crazy. Okay, and then when I was checking out, of course when I was checking out, um, I found a copy of the first Harry Potter book, but this is the copy that has like pop-up pop pages and like really cool like um, ephemera and stuff throughout. So I'm really excited to read that one again. Um, and then I heard this was a really good ghost story. Um, so I got the heart shaped box by Joe Hill. Um, something I want to participate in September. So this one's actually going to be saved until September, um, is shorty September more on that later from, um, Bert and also from Heather, but just to kind of prep and to also break the rules, I got one of, uh, Stephen King's books of short stories because, um, one of the stories in here is, um, about this hotel room in Boston where I have been and so this is definitely like a short story collection that I wanted to pick up even though you're supposed to read novellas and then finally from the bookstore I got basically a biography on Charles Manson um, just like what he was like as a kid and different things like that because I think that's so interesting like just in general, how do people become the adults and the people that they become and kind of like um, the Midnight Library, like what different choices can you make in your life and how would that completely alter your life or maybe not alter it so much? And um, as far as people like him, like what in the world happened to make him this way or was he just born this way? Like, I just feel like I would be super interested to learn more about this. And actually this would be really cool to follow up with Helter Skelter. Um, but anyway, okay. And then from the library, I got the believer, which is about UFOs. This is, well, it wasn't intended to be scary, but it totally good life after COVID-19. And it's basically about what we've learned from other pandemics and how we can move forward. The Comfort of Monsters. Plain Bad Heroines. I've been waiting for this one for so long. Um, False Witness by Karen Slaughter. The Memory Police. 
of falling. And this is the one that I was intending uh, to be my translated work. Um, it is The Strange Library by Haruku Murakami. Is that how you say his name? Um, so yeah. And then the sweetness at the bottom of the pie. So I'm going to take a brief break to eat some lunch. And then I'm going to look at all the scary books that I already pulled out of my collection. Plus previous scary books from another library haul plus all my hauls for today and I'm going to try and figure out what I'm going to read for each category of the spooky smart bitch readathon um and then everything else is just going to be extras that I can basically read spooky books the entire month of August even if I get past all the challenges so that's that stay tuned because I'm going to tell you my official final choices all right, I'm back. I've eaten lunch and I'm ready to tell you guys about my picks. I'm going to be looking at my iPad so I know what the different categories are. So first um, is a horror written by an LGBTQ author. And for that one, I picked uh, The Guild of Stories, which is the my so-called book club, 90s book club pick this month. Um, however, I do have other LGBTQ books in this stack, so... There's extra diversity in there. Next one, translated horror. I don't even know if this is horror, but I got The Strange Library, which sounds amazing, by Hiroko Murakami. Then, never seen anyone talk about. Um, I got a middle grade book, which is Midnight at the Barclay Hotel. Now, this book has been hyped a bit because it was on the NPR book concierge list, but I've just never heard anyone talk about it, and I have never read it. Then, um, a BIPOC book, I have My Favorite Thing is Monsters, uh, which is our library um, book club for this month. They have, I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically like um, a graphic novel book club, and I've been wanting to participate, and I for real am. Um, so, this will be what I read for that but it's also going to help me out with this challenge and it's a beast oh my gosh I love how big it is um okay these are gonna fall next one is written by a woman and I believe that this author is also a lesbian but it's plain bad heroines I'm so excited I've been wanting to read this for a while I did order it from book depository at one point because I like the UK cover better with the really bright colors but it never came and I just ended up canceling it um so now I have a library copy then the next one is manga. I don't have that book yet. I asked somebody at the library and they are sending me recs when they get back to work. So there's that. Then there is going to be, oh, true story. Um, so I also requested the exorcist for the true story, but, um, in the meantime, another one, I'm going to read the book about Charles Manson. Um, and then finally there will be a group book, but that has not been decided yet. So I'm excited to see what that book is. I'm wondering if you guys are participating and if you are, let me know because I would love to see like your TBRs or any other videos that you make on this. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.